Brothers, brothers and sisters, it is the top of the morning. Yes, it is. And it's King Loki <laughs> out back. <laughs> so this morning I woke up with another epiphany. I be having a lot of epiphanies. <laughs> and this one is, this one has to do with the Bible. Now, the Bible is not what you what, what I think a lot of people think it is. <laughs> and I believe that well, I know this for a fact there's been a lot of text taken out. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are being hidden from the public about this specific very <laughs> hands down the most bloodiest book on earth. <laughs> Like, holy crap. And I'm realizing now that not only is it misinterpreted, <coughs> it's open for interpretation. And that's what the problem is because we have... It's been diluted. And when I say diluted, I mean we have the King James Version and the New Testament. <laughs> the Mormon <laughs> the Mormon Version. <laughs> There's so many versions of it, so who's to say, really, now that it's so diluted, who's to say, really, that what's correct in it? So that's the reason why, brothers and sisters, you have to understand, this book is really, it's really open for interpretation. And if you want to know how cutthroat this book really is, what they used to do, <laughs> if, what they used to do, they used to go on these, these witch hunts. And what they would do is, <laughs> they would use people as scapegoats. Literally, they do. You can't. There's, it's all evident in there, and the it's all been written. So they would use these people as scapegoats. And what would they do? They'd slaughter them <laughs> in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> the Bible is a cutthroat book. It is cutthroat. You have no. That's the reason why I think it's funny how all these people out there think that just because you go by the Bible <laughs> means that you live a kosher life because no, it's quite it's quite the opposite. Is this going to make it to YouTube? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But it's quite the opposite. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad with the Bible. I'm not a Bible thumper, I never will be, but I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, there's so much more to it than you'll ever realize. <laughs>
unless it's a brotherhood and that's where the whole twist plot twist comes in with <coughs> with the bible and i think when you look at jesus and what he did one he had to been some he had to been extraterrestrial <laughs> or something like well yeah he was extraterrestrial allegedly that's what they say that he was the son of god <laughs> so if he came to this earth in which he did make a huge huge impact on this earth there's not a doubt about it my children but you have to understand that the bible is it's a cult that's what it is a cult now i don't feel like breaking down the word because it, let me just express this i'm not saying it's like a cult like well it is a cult that's what actually that's exactly what it is and in every occult there's going to be a structure, a very well handled structure. And <laughs> it goes so deep. There's in the Bible there's they talk about blood sacrifice. They talk about a lot of things. Now this is gonna make the YouTube most probably maybe, who knows? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Anyways, this goes back to the movie. I was thinking of this morning, I'm reading this book called, uh, I believe it's called the, the Eye of, I need to look at it again, <laughs> it's really sick, and it's called The God's Eye maybe, yeah, Sealed, it's really sick, it's a badass book, and I just started reading it, and it made me really think about the movie Hocus Pocus, and what she does is, you don't understand, that movie is not, I don't know why <laughs> why we were able to watch that movie as kids, because what it is, it's a spell, it's basically a spell that they have put on generations to come, so I remember they used to play it on Fox when I was a child, <laughs> like every Halloween, Hocus Pocus, I love that movie by the way, <laughs> I freaking love that movie, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, well, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, brother and sister, it's not, <laughs> it's not. You see in the you see in the movie that okay one there is a book wrapped in human skin two a virgin with the black flame candle <laughs> okay I didn't even know what a virgin was when I, at the age I was watching that shit <laughs> oh my god thinking about this trip me out a little bit so there's a lot of movies that are very a cult also by nature and if you look into Hocus Pocus the movie goes really deep into detail on <laughs> things that this really got me thinking this morning like holy shit there's been spells casted all over <laughs> our generation so if anybody's wondering why our generation is so fucked up it's really not that hard to figure out it's because we grew up the cable and things that we were not supposed to see and now it's gotten so bad through technology my children's running around with their phones watching whatever they want <laughs> and more whatever give them the technology and see what happens <laughs> i'm gonna tell you it's gonna ain't gonna be good in the end it's not gonna be good in the end it's very irresponsible irresponsible shame on you <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. Man, this shit's been making me think. This this book? The Eye of God, I believe that's what it's called. Oh my goodness gracious.
There are real power in words, man. My, my brother says you. You don't believe me? What I eat? <laughs> what I eat? <laughs> what to eat? What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Crap. All I mean. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> my brother says Jonathan Lee. I was just talking about it. Started going. I love this. Oh my God. <laughs>